Today we're going to talk about polarity. What is polarity? Well, it is very simple. If you look at this picture, polarity is the positive or negative direction of a signal. To change the polarity of a waveform, we will need to apply a 180 degrees flip. Have you seen this button on the top of your channel strip? Well, that's the polarity flip button. This is a crucial button on your console. It can make your mix sound big and fat or thin and boring. By pressing this button, the signal gets flipped 180 degrees. If your console doesn't have a polarity button and you know that the signal needs to get flipped, then swap pin 2 and 3 from an XLR end. The polarity button is used when you have multiple microphones in one source. For example, a snare top and bottom, kick in and out, the whole kit, two guitar mics, two bass lines. Have you asked the question, why does a signal sound bigger and louder when they are in phase with the same polarity? Here is explanation. If you have two identical signals with the same polarity, you will have an increment of 6 dBs. If you have two identical signals with the opposite polarity, you will have a complete cancellation. Today we are going to use drums as an example. The drums are probably one of the hardest instruments to mix, as it has a lot of microphones picking up one source. Mixing drums is an art. I've seen a lot of engineers trying to get the fattest drum sound using just EQ, but they forget about polarity. Now, I'm going to show you how to check polarity on the kit. This is my approach. I always start with the overheads. You might be wondering why. In my opinion, the overheads are capturing the whole perspective of the kit, so I need to get that right. After that, I will start adding the individual channels. One important tip here is always leave the overheads up while checking the polarity. We will be toggling the face button as we go so that you can have a listen to the difference. There is no EQ or anything on the drums. Let's start. Bring just your overheads up and pan them both to the middle. Let's listen to them. Hopefully, you notice how the snare and the kick got thinner when I flipped the polarity on one side of the overheads. What we want is the fuller sound, so we'll leave both channels in the same polarity setting. Now, let's bring the snare top up. Let's listen to it. The snare top sounds fuller with the polarity flip. Now, let's add the snare bottom. Let's listen to it. The snare is getting bigger every time. One thing to know is that most of the time, one of the snare mics will be polarity reverse as the microphones face each other. Now, let's move on to the hats. Bring the hats up to a good level. Let's listen to it. You hear that snare is getting fuller and fuller each time. Let's move on to the kick. Bring the kicking up. Let's listen to it. The kick is getting tighter in the low mid range. The first option sounds fuller. Now, bring the kick out. Let's have a listen. The kick drum got even tighter. Now, Let's compare what we've done with the overheads, snare, hats, and kick.
we are in the right track. Let's do the same process but with all the toms. You will notice that some of the toms will be more noticeable than others when we flip the polarity. Bring tom 1 up. Let's listen to it. We want the render sound, so we leave the first option. Now bring Tom 2 up. Let's listen to it. The first option sounds fuller. And the last one, Tom 3. Let's listen to it. Okay, so this is it. Let's listen to all the inputs and compare our progress. So there you go. This is how you check polarity on every single channel on the kit. Hopefully this episode helps you to pay more attention to this magical button. Trust me, EQ is not the key to make them sound fat. Polarity is the key. Remember, don't get confused with phase. Phase is a time relationship between two signals, while polarity is a positive or negative direction of a signal. See you next episode.